All right, so now we need to ask what is the sixth class's upper class limit? Now remember, it goes first class, second class, third class, fourth class right here, fifth class, sixth class. So the sixth class's upper class limit is 94.9. Oh, and it occurs to me, I never put this in there. That was 11, right? Yep, there was an 11. Okay, find the class width. Now the class width is what everybody does incorrectly. So be careful. What you want is the distance between lower class limits. So look at this, 35 to 45, 45 to 55, 55 to 65. How far apart are these numbers? Because these will be the tick marks on your horizontal axis, right? So you say, okay, 45 take away 35, that's 10. Notice that 55 take away 45, that's 10. Or um, you could do it with upper class limits technically. 54.9 uh, take away 45.9, or excuse me, 44.9, that's 10. The difference between consecutive either lower or upper class limits. So either way you slice it, it's 10 every time. All right, All right what should the total of the relative frequency column be. I mean, of course I could go find it rather quickly with Excel. I could just drag my sum form over here. But everybody should know that when I lift up my mouse button, it's going to be one. Yes, you guessed it. All right, so it should be one. Oops, control underline. There we go. Is this an open-ended distribution? No, because they're the last class has an upper limit. In other words, it's not 95 and up is what it would say. And or the first class has a lower limit. They didn't write, it's not, uh, what was it? 44.9 and below, right? That's what it would take to be open-ended. Open-ended means anything lower than 44.9, but that's not how we did it. We just said, we said 35 to 44.9. In other words, nobody in this class got lower than a 35. Nobody in this class got a higher than a 104.9, okay? It's not 95 and up to anything you want. It's 95 and up to that specific number, no higher. All right, oops. I screwed that up. All right, what was the m mode student score, i.e. the most frequent? Well, we don't really know the most frequent score for students, but we know the most frequent group was right here because the frequency is the highest. So the mode class, I guess I, sh I should say. So the mode student um, specific score. Yeah, I did this right. Specific mode student score we don't know but we do know that it would be in the mode class the most frequent class which was 65 to 74.9 I don't know why I underlined all of that but okay in other words um, more students scored between 65 and, well, I, guess I, can't, I can't type right now, than any other, um, more students scored between 65 and 74.9 than in any other class, okay? So it's the mode class, not really the mode score, because we don't know what scores they got, but we know that that's the most frequent group because it had the highest frequency, I should say, because that group has the highest frequency. All right, that's what makes something a mode class. All right, we'll pick up here next time.